you are an owner of a single cab Chevy, uh, 1500, four door, two door, whatever the situation is, you want to get a little bit more bang in there, but you don't have the enough space for your build, today I will be showing you a design that you can go ahead and do a blow through and build a crazy fourth order bandpass for your truck. And here I have the design already whipped up that I will be sharing with you guys later on in the video. But before we actually do that, we need to understand what is a blow through and what is a fourth order band pass. What is a blow through? Blow through basically is area where you cut a entry point with a hole so base can travel in from somewhere else like a trunk or a bed of a truck, be able to pass through the inside of your cab or you know the inside of your vehicle because some people cut the cabs of the bed to get a blow through coming through into inside the truck or people cut a rear deck so the blow through port can come up and you know base can come inside the vehicle in my Silverado I actually have a blow through going into the cab of my truck I have a subwoofer box and the back of the bed that I have 412 sundown subs but on today's design we are actually going to be discussing a build for 215s kicker l7s at that don't forget we have our giveaway active man you can win this md3000.1 terra amps little as five dollars we do have five dollar entries ten dollar entries twenty dollar entries and fifty dollar entries purchasing an entry will get you so many entries inside the giveaway that gives you a chance to go ahead and win this bad boy. second prize we're going to go ahead and get a pair of mid-range speakers in here for second place third place will walk off with fifty dollars so get entered all the information you need to know where to purchase the tickets and how the giveaway works and end dates is all in the description of the video so don't forget to hit the description get entered for you to win this guy okay so pretty much when anybody does a blow through sound system in their truck or a vehicle uh, the best box always is the fourth order band pass in my opinion the fourth order band pass is the best way to go and if your formula for your fourth order band pass is on point you are going to have a crazy monster okay so this is the overall you know external and internal dimensions of the box um, this is the sub the description of the sub itself the physical descriptions of the sub itself um, it is a 15 so we're just going to say overall uh, sub height and width is just going to be 16 so that gives yourself plenty of area to play with uh, and the depth will just go ahead nine inches that should be pretty good for you guys to you know work off of and make sure that you know you give yourself good space to build the box that you need overall volume that we need in the band pass is basically like seven cubic feet maybe seven and a half cubic feet that is ideal for 215s and that's enough airspace for this thing to be you know jamming and quaking like crazy each sub we at least need 1.5 cubic feet on the sealed section we need two cubes for the ported section what is a sealed section what is a ported section let's get into it here we have an overview look of the inside of the bandpass box that we are designing today where the subs are sitting inside there that's the sealed section on both sides and then the inner chamber that is the ported section so basically we need to have an airspace on the side where the speaker gets displaced on and then we need airspace in the area where the sub is jamming at in order to be able to push the air out the port that is right in front of it going inside the cab of the truck so on the sealed section which which is where the sub gets placed at we need 1.5 cubic feet on either side so 1.5 here 1.5 here and in the center chamber we at least need four cubic feet total because uh, it requires two cubic feet per sub you know what i'm saying so we're going to need four cubes inside here because we're, we're figuring it for both sides right here both of these subs are beaten inside facing each other and base is getting released through the port going inside the cab so it's just building up force and then just pushing the base inside through the opening of the box these are the best measurements we came up for it wideness we can do 48 deepness we can go ahead and do 18 and a half and then for height we can just do 17 and a half but those are external dimensions which is the outside of it to really calculate the airspace that we actually need for the subwoofers is we need to calculate internal dimensions so with the thickness of the wood 
that is three quarters more than likely that's what he's building uh, you know we need to subtract 1.5 from our external number to get our internal number then we add our internal number we add our internal number on other sides and then we actually come up with a crazy number but then since we're figuring out airspace we need to go ahead and divide that by one seven two eight and that gives us our internal airspace that we have for the box design that we got going on we said that we wanted overall seven seven and a half cubic feet for our airspace but we actually came up with 7.3 which is very very perfect because since we are doing 15s the face of the sub the magnets of the sub after braces and port coming inside the box um, all that takes space so that extra 0.3 is going to cover a lot of everything so we pretty much have a dead on box we have our box design uh, we have how we want to have the speaker set up which is facing each other uh, now we need to go ahead and start figuring out airspace uh, you can play with different numbers um, to figure out the airspace but these are the numbers that we got for this box design that we got going on here so we already know that the box is 48 wide uh, the depth that we can play with is 18.5 and the height is 17.5 but we found all of our internal numbers which is 46.5 for the wideness 17 for the depth and 16th for the height so those are the actual numbers that we need to crunch down and make sure that we calculate everything good so we have all the right air spaces since each subwoofer is getting its own sealed section we need to go ahead and find individual airspace so we played with the numbers and we actually came up with 9.5 depth that we need in order to get the airspace that we need for our subwoofer for it to perform very very good we needed 1.5 cubic feet for our sealed section and the number that we came up was nine and a half deep so let's go ahead and crunch the numbers so with all the numbers that we just crunched we came up with 2584 but remember we have to divide that by 1728 boom we have 1.49 and that is very 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 good you know what I'm saying even if it's off by just a you know a few you know numbers uh that nine is very important and in that five so in the 1.5 man we're in our area we're really really good so now that we found our airspace we got 1.49 on each side which is very very good so obviously the remainder that we got is going to be a little over four cubic feet in the inner chamber but that's perfect because you still got to figure your port's going to take up a little bit of airspace and if you do a bracing in the middle that's going to take airspace as well too so that is very very good i came up with some numbers for a cut list uh the top and the bottom is going to be 48 by 18 and a half so when you go ahead and build your box the top and bottom are always going to pretty much be external numbers because that's where all the pieces of wood are going to sit you know the sides are basically going to be the same dimensions of the internal baffles where the speaker or the subwoofer sits on uh, right here in this area so one two three and four are going to be the same numbers so you're going to need four of 17 by 17 and a half strips in order for that to work and the reason why we did this number because those pieces are going inside so those are internal numbers that we need and remember we crunched our internal numbers a little while ago so you're going to need that then the front and back you know basically sits on top of the bottom pieces and then the top goes on top between that so we can work with half internal if and half external see what i'm saying so we're going to need 48 by 18 and a half 48 because it's going to sit all the way across because our inner baffles and side pieces are going to sit inside that and the front and back we're going to need external and internal numbers so we have 48 by 16th i had seen i had made a typo so i went ahead and correct it and 16 the correct number so basically the front we're going to need 48 because it's going to sit on top of the bottom piece and the 16 comes into play because once you put that piece of wood as the front you still need it the same height so you can be able to clear your height um, that you need um, because if you were to do a different number and adding that's just going to add inches so then you're going to be past the number that you're trying to stay at so you know obviously we got 48 by 16 
because once you put all the pieces together, it's gonna equal up 17 and a half. Now, the port that we need for this guy is basically, basically gonna be 140 square inches, 10 inches long. So basically you figure this is the front profile of the box and we'll pretend the shaded area is the port. So basically the wideness, the wideness is gonna be 23 and a half and the height is gonna be, gonna be six because, because we need 23.5 times six to equal our square inch port and it's 141 inches and that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Like I said, you know, we're only one number away. Uh, we wanted 140, but we got 141 and that's pretty dead on. That's really, really good. But don't forget, we need the port to be 10 inches deep. So basically, right here, 23 and a half by six inches high. And then the depth going in, the depth of the port needs to be 10 inches. And this right here is pretty much the cut list for the port. Uh, you're gonna need a 25 by 10 because obviously those are port internal dimensions so we need external so back again we need to add thickness of wood to calculate the inside internal dimensions of the port so we got 25 by 10 then we have the sides which would which is the only pieces that we need is 6 by 10 to build a port you only need the top and the bottom and the both sides and then that's it if you go back in the history of my videos, man, you'll see me building the fourth order that I did for my Silverado. So you can see the tips and everything that I did to go ahead and attach the port to my box. So make sure you scroll back, watch the videos on the fourth order build, and you'll see how I came up with all this port uh, placement and how I stapled the port to the box. If you guys want to go ahead and screenshot that right there, that is a very good box design for 215s. Any 15s that you go ahead and put inside this box design I guarantee you that thing is going to be a serious banger. So the subscriber actually, you know, DM me and I'm going to actually send this off to him. I'm going to take a picture of this right here and send it to him. And hopefully this can help him out uh, figuring out how to design and build his box. You know, but this is pretty much the design and then he can just use this as a cheat sheet and just do a cut list, uh, get himself some wood, his tools. and put the box together and it's definitely gonna be a banger. I hope this video helps you guys if you have a single cab, ex extended cab, any type of truck or even a vehicle helps you understand on building a box and you have a cheat sheet here that can give you a box design to go ahead and build a box for 215. Don't forget if you guys want some help or got some questions about car audio, feel free to DM me on my Instagram, mousextrap, the Instagram is right here. Uh, subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and I will give you guys as much as help as possible I know sometimes it's kind of difficult to you know get questions answered but that's what I am here for you guys thanks for watching today's video hope this helped you guys uh, get a little further thought hopefully this helps the actual subscriber that asked for this box design um, subscribe to the channel man because this is car audio this is what we do man we do this on a daily basis so with that being said I'll catch you guys on the next one peace